All right, it's Pastor Miguel from the Children's Bread Delivers Ministry. Today is Friday and it's 6 o'clock in the morning. And I want to talk to you about how the enemy wants to control your mind. Because we all know that the battlefield is in your mind. And the enemy wants to control that because if he could control your mind, he could control everything. Uh, and so it, it is the, the number one thing that the enemy wants to take over. And unfortunately, um, a lot of people who are demonized, okay, demonized, do not know that they are demonized. Um, and so, because the enemy has taken over their mind, and so they cannot see. So we have people who, have, for example, have the Jezebel spirit that call everybody Jezebel. They don't realize that they themselves are Jezebel. Or people who are prideful uh, do not know that they are prideful uh, because the devil has... Um, fog their mind they cannot they cannot see reality and so what we see is um, that the devil tries to control the mind and usually through such thing as fear if you're fearful if he could scare you and your mind becomes fearful he can control everything because fear is the opposite of faith and so um, his goal is to make you fearful because he could make you fearful he could make you doubt that you're able to you know that you have authority over him uh, that you have power over him, and then he's got you, okay? So if, you, if you're if you able to control your mind, your way of thinking, and, re, you know, catch yourself, okay, this is the reason why I'm acting like this. For example, if you're suffering with pornography or some kind of sexual addiction or some kind of addiction, if you catch yourself, no, this is, this is the reason why I'm doing this is because, obviously, this is the devil coming to tempt me or the devil trying to manipulate me. And so you need to use your mind, control your mind, and say, no, I'm not going to do this, okay? So it takes a lot of training. Recently, I was watching a, a video where a Navy SEAL was talking about that most people don't change because they feel comfortable uh, at their current level. Whatever level they're in, they're, that's, their, um, that's their current level. So what they do is in order to um, grow, grow. They, they change the way they think about things. And so, they're, they're, you know, they put themselves pretty much through hell, you know, through the suffering and, you know, you know, torment and torture and everything else you can name. They put themselves at that level, you know, so that becomes their new normal. And so they grow, they grow. They don't know, they don't really know uh, what they're capable of until they're put through that torment and that torture and that, you know, the, running on you know the extreme weather and and things like that and so their mind is able to accept those things because they push themselves and so we need to do the same uh, because the devil obviously wants to control you right but if you could control your mind to the point that you could say no I'm not gonna do this or no devil not today you're not gonna control my mind no I'm not gonna go out there and get drugs and things like that then we, we defeat him because because um, um, you know, we're able to control our mind. Now, I know that sometimes when you're demonized, it's very hard to overcome these things. But the Lord Jesus Christ, the Lord Jesus Christ gives us the strength and the power to overcome all temptations, all attacks of the devil. All you need is to have faith in him. Faith in him. You know, believe the promises of his words. And this is something I talk about all the time, that people don't believe the word of God, you know, the way God tells you, you know, that he will protect you and, 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 you know, and things like that. You don't believe the word of God. You already lost, my friend. You lost. So it is important that uh, we're able to um, realize that, you know, we, we to have faith, to have faith to overcome the temptations when they come our way, to have mental strength, to be strong mentally. Uh, and that's like one of the the, the key things that I see is that people who are demonized are usually demonized because um, they allow themselves to be demonized. Okay. A lot of times it's just generational, but a lot of times it's just, uh, you know, let's suppose it's something generational. And for some reason or another, you know, you have a demon. You had no idea. You had it all your life. You have no idea you had a demon, right? But people are telling you. Hey, you know, you suffer, you, you got anger issues. Hey, you got anger issues. Hey, you got anger issues. Now, you need to catch yourself. You need to catch yourself and say, oh, I'm getting angry. 
this is uh, there's something going on here so if you're able to catch yourself eventually eventually you know you ask the lord to give you the strength to overcome anger and eventually you'll catch yourself and you you know the devil loses power because when you when you every time you get angry you realize you know this is not from god and um you know once you do that once you're able to recognize those things that's it it's over so one of the things i like to do uh, i like to say is when i um when i pray for people once i figure out what's going on with the person i like to always tell the devil checkmate because that's what it is <laughs> anyways uh if you're able to control your mind if you're able to control your mind the way you think um you know, your belief system, you believe the right things, you believe the right things, the promises of God, um, the battle's won. And uh, the Lord Jesus could give you that. Uh, you need to pray often so that the Lord, um, you can hear the word of, of God, and you can hear the voice of God, and he could guide you. And so, anyways, that's what I wanted to talk to, to you this morning about. And I know it's kind of rambling, but um, certainly in the morning, and I'm parked here. Uh, and uh, anyways, God bless you. Thank you for, for watching this. Uh, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe. And um, I'll post more videos. I think there's a lot of stuff going on now. Um, we just had uh, an incident where um, somebody got killed during an exorcism. Um, you know, this is very common where people just are held down or you know bound and, and beaten and stuff like that doing exorcisms and stuff like that and this is the reason why you need to look before you seek a deliverance minister see what they you know what their background is like and where they study where they went to school who trained them things like that you need to know these things uh you know whether they went to bible school or seminary or whatever anyways um so the, the, i'm probably gonna make some some of those stories uh, i'm gonna make a video reaction video re regarding some of those stories that recently came out and um thank you once again god bless you and i'm sorry i'm looking around but i'm parked here and this is not a very good neighborhood okay god bless you i'll, I'll talk to you soon bye bye